Um, it could be a little bit dark to be a little bit less, you know, depending on the kid goes to graduate school. Um, <laughs> and then we'll have a big old uh, apocalyptic trilogy at the end and cap it all off. Good. You would love apocalyptic trilogy. <laughs> Uh, I, it's my sister's fault. The first movie I remember being taken to see was Star Wars. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, you know, go ahead. Tell me. Uh, right here. Why don't you? Uh, another that there were more short stories coming. How are those coming along? <laughs> okay. Are there more short stories coming? Yes, there are. Uh, right now, I am on, I'm about two-thirds of the way done with the second of the Big Book Trilogy short stories. Uh, which I'm having fun writing. Uh, Bigfoot with a client. Um, <laughs> 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 if you come here, you have the problem with his kid, you can't exactly wander to town and help. Uh, uh, so, uh, dressing is hard, and it's on the job. So the first one called uh, B is for Bigfoot, and the kid's in grade school. And uh, uh, the next one is, uh, I was a teenage Bigfoot, and the kid's in, the kids in high school, and then, and then Bigfoot on campus when he's in college. <laughs> Is that coming out? Right, the short story has to do everything in the short story that you do the novel, except you've got to do it like this much later. Over here, you're excited. Have you decided on a title for the next book? Have I decided on a title for the next book? Book 14 is going to be titled Cold Day, uh, which will make more sense after you've read book 13. In blue. Where does oh, Curtis fit with the time work? Um, I'll have to find it. I think it's, I think it's between Dead Beads and Proof and Guilty. Uh, that's where that one falls. I'll have to go out to check my notes to be sure, though. I can definitely get this stuff straight. Uh, I'll go check on Wikipedia and. and <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you guys keep much better track of this than I possibly could. <laughs> Because by, by the time you read it, you've just got that one version of the, the book to, the, to be read. Um, whereas for me, I've got, I've got like 11 slightly different versions that very strongly resemble your one version that are all different drafts that I write. Uh, and then I've got all the versions that could have been that I decided not to use for one reason or another in my head. And it gets hard to keep them straight after a while. You know, we're 13 books in. Uh, I've got a couple of hundred slightly different resin files in my head. It's, it's hard to keep mentally highlighted. Which one is the actual is the end? Which why you work at Uh for Brian, wow, if I can have that, I don't know what I do. <laughs> How many children in my little chair in Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, okay. We wait, what color was it from Hamilton to Harry's car again? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go over here in auction. Um, okay, at one point did I realize that, that charity had had her own uh, experience in the magical world and been a famous practitioner in the past? And at what point did I know that Molly was going to be Harry's friend? And the answer to that is it's, it's with him here. Um, uh, I knew that charity just couldn't stand Dresden. Uh, um, uh, and I had to have a good reason for her to, to, to really not stand him. And really, the best reason that anybody could possibly have for not liking somebody is because they remind them of, of, of themselves, of something they hated themselves. Uh, uh, so I thought that was perfect. Um, <laughs> and then I gave all kinds of good, good, good rational reasons on top of that. Um, you get my house in trouble and arrested and, and, and beat up. Okay, well, good point. Um, <laughs> uh, as far as Molly goes, I knew she was going to be his apprentice by the end of, the, by the end of the, that first book she showed up in. Uh, no, not only that one, by the end of uh, Death Masks. Um, uh, by, the, by the time she was sitting there with the knight of the cross, prank calling the grocery stores with him, just to, just to play around with his head, you know, that was, that was like, okay, yeah, she's, she's not going to be able to get away from me because of the friends at this point. <laughs> um, the very back of the lecture. Uh, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Am I a Game of Thrones fan? I've played 
I like the TV show because I like Tyrion and Adam Lannister. Uh, um, uh, uh, but as far as the actual, as far as the actual story goes, I'm, I'm upset with it because it's, it, for a fantasy novel, it has so little fantasy. It, it both did. I mean, there's only, I mean, it's all this politics and backstabbing and people. It's like I've got people like this that are running my country right now. <laughs> Uh, you know, we get to all the way to the end of the first season of the HBO series, and it's like we've had one girl who didn't turn her hands where she should have, and a zombie. And that was it. Uh, oh, get me a higher budget. I, I need more things getting, getting uh, I need more things that explode when you do something to them. Uh, at least true blood level. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right here in blue. Um, how can you explain the significance of the dagger that Leah gets, and is it the same dagger that Harry uses on Lloyd and changes? Uh, can you explain the significance of the dagger that Leah gets, and is it the same dagger that Harry uses on Lloyd and changes? Uh, I'll answer the second part of that first, which is no, it's not the same dagger. He uses he uses a uh, like and knives and, 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 and changes, uh, and that dagger was. Uh, uh, did they ever actually know it was supposed to be? Maybe not. I don't know. That dagger originally belonged to, to, to Morgan Le Fay, like the original Morgan Le Fay. Uh, uh, that, that was her personal author, her, her, her original life, uh, which is a big deal. Um, as far as the significance of what it did, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm still being coy about that. Uh, we're, we're, it's going to come into play later on. But uh, suffice to say that a, an, an older and wickeder dagger was needed uh, uh, by Matt. Of course, that's things as she is in the last book. Uh, in the future. Actually, just a minute. I want to ask Maggie Lefay, Morgan Lefay, does that name go generation to generation? Is that a sentence? Oh, Maggie Lefay was, okay, the question is Maggie Lefay, Morgan Lefay, are they, is that a, a, a generational name? Are they related? No, uh, uh, the Lefay is something that, that, that kind of gets added as an honorific in the wizarding community. It's one of those kind of mixed names that you give somebody that they supposedly, oh, well, this is sort of a name that you earn. So it's a marker status. It also means you're insane. Um, <laughs> which everybody thought uh, uh, Harry's mom was, being the big time explorer of, of ways and, and hanging out with fairies and, and generally doing things that most wizards consider to be crazily, stupidly dangerous. Uh, yeah, when you're somebody who can live, who can live for three or four hundred years as long as nothing goes wrong, you tend to be a little conservative, you know. Uh, really, you, you get a lot of benefit from that. Um, and uh, yeah, certainly, in, in, in Maggie's case, she's bucking the trend. Um, uh, and we'll, get, we'll, we'll probably get into a little bit more of why she's doing that later in the books. Great. Right. Last one, I think. Surely, in terms of what happened in Minnesota, can I say you want to do so? Somebody saw something in the link. Yeah. yeah. Well, what happened? <laughs> um, I'll get there. Well, that, 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 that will actually probably be a short story. That was what I originally had planned for all those mentions of between book things and things that had gone before and things that had so on. I originally planned those out so that I could write short stories later if I wanted. Um, and, and, and so on. Um, I, I actually thought about doing that as a, uh, as a graphic novel. But they wanted something. Uh, uh, they wanted something a little bit different, and uh, uh, to go after the, the full moon graphic novel. So I wrote an all new uh, story after that, which is actually cool enough. I'm like, this is cool. I should have made this a novel or a book or something myself. I almost feel bad I'm not getting this one as a graphic novel, but that's okay. Uh, uh, I know you're a good story. Um, right over here. Are the Blackboard more than just, like, a court of vampires, they have, like, more than a whole thing? Um, there's a lot of questions, but, uh, what it amounts to is, do the Blackboard black vampires, do they have more significance than just being just, like, corpses and vampires? Um, uh, are they tied in somehow with the overstory uh, of what's going on? And the answer to that is, I'm a really lazy writer. And uh, if 
I could possibly use something more than once or use it uh, for more than one purpose, I will. Uh, and I'll leave it there. We have three or four more questions, I'm going to stop and actually cite some books. Uh, so if I, if I didn't get any questions, I'm very sorry, but we'll, 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 we'll get a few more in and we'll go. Uh, here is Lulu's class. Is Thomas going to be building an artist? Is Thomas going to be building an artist? Yes. Um, I'm not sure, actually, where those exactly is where they're going to fall out. There's several different places where I can put them. Um, uh, and, and all of them would be fun, and I'm just trying to figure out which ones are going to be the most fun. Um, over here in Black. Okay, I mentioned a couple of times that uh, 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 marriage is a use of steel packs and alliances. Well, you're going to be forced into a marriage and. Right. Oh, okay, will it be with Laura? Um, how long do you think Harry had been forced into a marriage already? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole thing was mad. Come on. That, that, that was, but the read more book, and, and you'll. I, I read. Uh, uh, the most recent one here, uh, and see if that doesn't uh, give you some more answers. Uh, certainly, he's in it deep uh, with Matt at the, at the moment because the reason of this, he's going to get out of it because he was technically dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, last one right here is great. Um, I mean, I didn't waste much time with it. Uh, I worked on the Project and I tell you anything about it. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is, I wouldn't say loosely based, I would say it is influenced uh, by the black company novels by Don Cook, also excellent fantasy if you've ever read them. Uh, and that uh, uh, it is the, what I think is going to be, it's called the, it's called the Fortress uh, 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 trilogy, and, and I think it's going to be the prequel trilogy to my epic, epic fantasy epic, but it's an epic in the prequel trilogy. <laughs> 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 huge, huge source of versus fantasy. And, uh, uh, we'll start off by running through the trilogy for one and we'll see what happens. But, um, guys, thank you very much for putting up with me. Uh, <laughs> Thank you.